previously on Let's Play Football Manager 22, Sheffield Wednesday. Play a bit of attacking, slow build up, possession based football. Oh. We get so many men sent off. The game was dominating, get a man sent off from the resulting free kick. We're now losing. Go on, Cabano. Yeah. <laughs> oh, here we go. Set piece again. Oh, Oh, last minute, last minute. Oh, penalty. Go on, Bannon. Yes! Good day, YouTube. How are you all doing? Have you been having any success in FM22 so far? Let me know in the comments. This is our 12th episode of the Let's Play Football Manager 22 Sheffield Wednesday series. In this episode, we review a few games that I have played in the background and then go into some gameplay action versus Wick and Wanderers. We continue to make tweaks to the formation and start to plan for the January transfer window. Who has been your best signing in a January transfer window? If you want to see more of this amazing content around Football Manager, then hit that subscribe button. And if you don't want to miss a thing, click on the bell to be notified. If you're still unsure, then let's just get FM in. Right, it's Friday night football. You join us after we just played a couple of games. That's now put up from sixth to third. We are going to go and play Wickham, who are sixth in this game. We are at home, third versus six. Great Friday night football game. If we just go to schedule for a minute and just show you how it's looking like. So the last two games I played, MK Dons, we beat at home 2-0. Absolutely dominated it. And then we nicked a last minute goal. Literally, Byers kind of did some mad skill and got for goal uh yeah it was fantastic oh yeah and in mk dons we had Cambari run from halfway line and did a thundering shot just inside the box beautiful goal beautiful goal carries on our unbeaten run of what's that one two three four five six games now can we make it seven this is on tv friday night football as i said yeah i've got some players who are absolutely knackered yep so gibson on for iolfa so i think gibson needed a rest more than iolfa palmer can i rest palmer see hunt's not back yet might have if we're winning at some point by a couple of goals maybe just like in mk dons i put pats in as a right back but i'm gonna keep palmer on and rest Kemberry on for windass Bashiru in for Hutchinson. Yeah, brilliant. Let's go. So two changes from last match. Gibson, Windass on for Iolfa and Canberry. So just some fantastic form. Oh, we've got a free kick here. Bannon. In box. Shadapu set fair down to Patterson. And then Shadapu. Lawongo's already given his all. And it's only 30 minutes. Another play, probably needs resting. Shilapo, Winterbull, Byers, Brown, Bannon, Shilapo. Patterson finds Windass, Windass. Oh, great goal. All right, carry on, dressing room. Yep, keeps on saying about the media. Go with the assistant there. So if we can get a third, it's game over. But if they get a goal back, it's uh, squeaky bomb time. And just as I say that, oh, Jesus. I thought the ball wasn't going to go over the line then. Just as I say it, it's like commentator curse, right? Okay, two things here. Let's put out a shout. Make sure that they get focused. And what else do I need to do here? Who shattered Shay Dunkley? What I'm going to do is whack him in there. Put Patterson as full back and bring on Gregory. Oh, they found through with that Hanlan again. Oh, he's gone for a lob. Crossbar. Oh, yeah, and against MK Dons, we hit for crossbar twice. Look at their XG. They really, really turned it on now, aren't they? Change that round, counter press, and hold shape. And out of possession. All we want to do is just drop our defense line a bit and our line of engagement. We're going to bring it on, but I'm just trying to create a bit of a barrier see out this game two minutes one minute five minutes of injury time can we just see this out now three minutes for two minutes one minute it's got to be done yes we saw out of the game with 10 men <laughs> done i think that's important three points 
That was real Jekyll and Hyde performance from you. You were fantastic in the first half, but second was unacceptable. Yeah, pretty much. That's just summed up the game. Another player out for three to four weeks, Josh Windows. We've got our fitness coaches now, but we could have done with them in pre-season. I still can't believe they did not have any fitness coaches. After that victory, where are we in the league table? So we've played 20. They've got a game in hand above us, but we are one point behind them. They have to win that game in hand, right? Or we're one point behind them, which is great. We are four points above Wigan and Doncaster, but again, they've got two games over us. But again, they need to win those games. We've lost three games this season. Our goal difference is pretty strong. Plus 15, up there with everyone else. Our form's pretty strong as well. It's looking rosy for us. It is looking rosy. We are coming to the halfway point of the season. Canberra came second in this month's League One Player of the Month. It's good to see. He's played a 7.73, got a goal and two assists. And goal of the month. Ah, oh, Canberra's one for one we were talking about against MK Dons. Yeah, I'll just read that out because it kind of explains it probably better than what I saw. Marvellous goal from for on loan St. Gallen striker as he dribbles the ball from within his own half before scoring an incisive finish from 17 metres. It was nice. It was good to see. I didn't record it, unfortunately. Duper Daddy, I has scooped manager of the month. Fantastic. Got a 75% win ratio across four matches. Just drew against that Gilliam. Jack can't get sent off. And my chairman's happy with that for the fact that I've got manager of the month. Right, so we've got the Papa John's Trophy Northern section, third round. Next round will be the quarterfinals. Bolton versus Rue. Chief Wednesday, all the way at home. I don't think there's two legs. It's just one leg, isn't it? Ooh, Wigan. We are oh, Wigan. Ooh, it's be a tough game. Rotherham leads under 23s. Exxon or Carlisle, Man City. Ooh, Man City still there. Doesn't really surprise us. In preparation for the upcoming transfer window, we have arranged a recruitment meeting to determine our strategy. So this would be interesting with the transfer window in a month's time. Remaining club vision and transfer budget. Determine areas to improve. Review recommendations. Decide on short-term recruitment focus. So, Chairman saying, I've called this meeting as we're about to start a transfer window and I want to... I want us to align on our aim for the market. Want to budget 5 million. The finalised budget for the season ahead is as follows. Wage budget, 215k. Okay, so they've given me 5 million, but I don't have any wages to buy any players. I've identified a couple of areas that I think we should focus our recruitment efforts on. There's interest in Luongo. Okay, until that interest comes, no. Full back left, yes. Full playing defender, yes. Okay, four star potential, should be better than Liam Palmer. He's good league one player now, and he's got the potential of being good championship player. He's 23, you would expect his potential to be already there. Yuri Zerko, that's funny. Still doesn't look bad, 38 there. What's his demand for wage? Yeah, that's quite low. Lewis Monsma, he looks good. Not bad transfer fee. Brandon Cooper. He looks good. Not bad transfer fee again. With a scout. I think I need to learn not to play my B team. Because we drew the outer shot. They are in for Fanorama National League. Rooting in one hours, winning one nil comfortably. But you know what? I go more attacking. That a man down as well. So I thought, you know what, there's no harm. Try and get Nick number one, just to tie it all over. Now, what does my team do? And see down last minute. They're getting a through ball. So on that, I have decided to make a tweak to my attacking formation, which obviously we brought it over from Barcelona. But if you haven't seen it, we conceded in the 95th minute against Real Madrid, and it was a through ball, through the middle. How do I tighten that up? So because I'm attacking and probably my fullbacks are pushing forward, my defence line is up, I want to actually force my opposition to the outside. Let's see if that works. I've done utilise this one. Just again, another little tweak to see if it makes any difference. I've also changed on here um, shorter passing. So that's not shorter, shorter. It's actually just shorter. And I've taken off to be more expressive. I don't have creative and expressive players with loads of flair, flair and creativity. Just not what we are. But I still want a formation that can push forward and create. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please leave a like. If you would like to watch more videos like this, please subscribe. And to be notified, 
click on the bell.